Wow. Look at this fool. But his little piggy bank. Well, from the title, you already understand where this is going. Savings is for suckers. Let me explain my, my theory behind this. You see this guy here feeding his piggy bank? Well, that piggy bank is never going to give him the money he wants. And then you take a look at it, the reality. Look at this guy's wallet. He has a single buck in it. Yeah, from savings. You see, the reality of this, money is just the game. So just think of money as like little pieces that you have like on a Monopoly board, you know? That's what it is. Saving quarters, dollars, five dollars, ten dollars. I'm not saying wrong. Don't get don't get robbed, you know. Don't buy almond milk because it's cheaper than the regular milk. Look at this one. <laughs> She probably has her OnlyFans page. But here's the deal. If your savings is not keeping up with inflation, the cost of living, and all the crazy things that come along, and all the nefarious characters in this world, look at that piggy bank. <laughs> Trying to for that. The thing is, what is savings going to do for you? Now, investing and compounding your money and taking profits and then stashing profits on the side while your original money hunts. You don't need a little piggy like that, or even this one. Not for nothing, but that one doesn't look like he's that healthy. Probably looks like a little bit of high blood pressure. But what are you gonna do? You're gonna save 30 cents every night? How is your wife and family gonna look at you feeding a piggy bank with 50 cents every night? All right, maybe 75 cents, maybe you walked home. Listen, at the end of the day, What's going to happen one day when you need those $5 you just put in that little piggy? <laughs> then you're teaching the kids how to do this. So now those kids are going to be broke too. Well, this is great. We're going to save. How are you going to save when they continue to print more money? If you're saving, you're losing because they're printing money. And now they're going to have the digital dollar? Like, that doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't. Look at this kid. He's probably going to be a barista one day, and that's going to be his tip jar. Can you imagine going to pay a $5,000 rent in New York City with that tip jar? Huh? Yeah, you're going to need some extra coins right there. Come on. When you think about it, for a man just to be clean shave every day, the cost of razors and shaving creams alone will just put a dent in you. Let's say you like to floss your teeth like I do. <laughs> Dental floss is not cheap. You got to use your money as a tool in order to hunt for more money. That's why you have to take profits. So you don't gotta be like this guy, counting pennies, nickels, and dimes. I was at lunch today. I was bored, you know, great company, but I was just bored. I had that, you know, I have that type of like, you know, brain. You know what? I did a play, cooked it up, made a couple of thousand dollars. Let me tell you something. That made my lunch taste better. And look at this guy. I'm gonna stack my coins. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it look like, like I'm growing. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, okay. Imagine a burglar comes into your house to see that jar. I'm sorry. If I walk into somebody's house and I see that there, just out of respect, I'm going to take the jar with me. <laughs> I'm not going to do nothing with it. I'm just going to take the jar with me. Because, by the way, that's going to be your wife. While you're saving quarters, she has an OnlyFans page and she's making money. Look at these two. That's a divorce that's going to happen. Yeah, they both got a piggy bank. Let me tell you something, that woman in two years from now, she's going to be living in Vegas and figuring out how to twirl on a pole. All I can tell you is, there you go, there you go, divorce in the making, divorce, she's going to take half that pig. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You save your money, but you bought those little plastic plants. I, I can't. She probably spends like $40 a month on those eyebrows. Oh, here it goes. This is when you're an employee. <laughs> Everybody takes the taxes, the cuts. Yeah, this is what. You, this is why I'm never going to be an employee. There you go. <laughs> That's an employee right there. He gets the he gets the scraps at the end. It's rather to be better to be a hustler, investor, and always be seeking how to maximize your money. You think I'm going to be like that? Forget it. See whether you're going to eat a, a a half a chicken McNugget, or maybe maybe if you want to spoil yourself, a Happy Meal as a grown man. Look at this one. He can't even believe how expensive life is. 
Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. How 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 expensive is a, a car these days? Average car sixty thousand dollars, seventy thousand dollars. Average car payment a month is a thousand. Yeah. You think I'm gonna be at the end of the month like that? Uh huh. Yeah. Put put fifty cents here, twenty cents there, thirty cents there. Then you open up the window and you know what you do next. Look at this one with those glasses. <laughs> Not for nothing. You she looks smarter than that. Give that kid an iPad. She'll probably do some you know some AI and do some trading. Out of respect, I'll take that jar too. <laughs> Just look at this. Look at this little piggy right here. All I can tell you is, if you're saving your money, you're not saving yourself. Grow your money, take profits. That's what you got to do. Because in the end of the day, savings is, say it with me, for suckers. And there's no way around it. I'll take that jar too. <laughs>